Second straight final, second straight 50. And this field in the men's 50 is absolutely loaded. Everyone in the field, Rowdy, has won an Olympic medal. Six of the eight have individual Olympic medals. If you took at Roland Schumann, who's got one of the great starts in the history of the sport, four-time Olympian, and the oldest guy in the field at age 33. And then you've got Vladimir Morisov down there in lane seven. Took fifth in the hundred earlier. He broke Alexander Popov's national record for Russia in the semifinals last night. He could win it. So could Freddy Bousquet of France in his fifth world appearance. Took bronze earlier in the 50 fly at these championships. And then Cesar Cielo, who's been an Olympic champion, world champion, in the 50 distances, he is looking for his third straight world championship title in this event to join six others in history to win three straight world titles in the same event. He's got great clutch speed. And then there is Nathan Adrian in lane three, took bronze earlier in the 100 free after being crowned the Olympic champion in that distance in London last summer. He's never Anthony Irvin. had a world or Olympic medal in this event, though. And Anthony Irvin, one of the great stories, the other American in this event. Gold in this race 12 years ago in the Worlds. He tied for the Olympic gold 13 years ago in Sydney. And then there is Florent Manadou, the defending Olympic gold medalist from France in lane four. Rowdy, take your pick. Uh, uh. I mean, good luck on focusing on who the winner's going to be at the end of this race. It's that close, Dan. 37 one hundredths specifically separates one through eight. All sorts of speed here. Nathan Adrian in lane three. His teammate Anthony Irvin, one of the great stories in all of swimming, retired for eight years, came back to the sport, made the Olympic team last summer, and here he is at another world championships in lane five. Cielo below him in lane six. Good start by Irvin, the same exact reaction time that he had in the preliminaries when he went his best time, 21.42. Manadou in lane four looking good. Down there in lane six is Cesar Cielo. Five, six swimmers stacked up. Cielo looks like he might edge everybody out at the wall. He does. Morisov with the silver, the bell, the bronze. And Cielo has done it again. The three-peat for the Brazilian in the men's 53. Nathan Adrian was fourth. Anthony Irvin was sixth. Well, that's a big surprise for me. I, I mean, I know Cielo won the 50 fly, but his freestyle has not looked that good this year. In fact, he didn't even swim the 100 freestyle. Hadn't seen him swim, swim freestyle at all here. But he got psyched with that one. Boy, that is one pure sprint going to the wall. And it was not that close, Dan. 15 one hundredths of a second is not that close. I mean, you look at the start right here. Again, so important for Cielo. He stands a little bit straighter than everybody else, and then he comes down on that command. Everybody got off fairly even. Irvin got a great start. But it seemed like he popped up a little early. He's right there in lane five. That's, he's the fastest swimmer in the group, Irvin is, but he never got going again. Sort of like Dana in the 50 flights, never got going. That was Cielo coming in, punching that wall. And Morozov down there in lane number seven could be the future sprints. He's only 21, grabbing the silver. But the king still lives. Yeah, three-time champion Cesar Cielo now has six career individual gold medals at the Worlds. The three titles in this race, a couple in the 50 fly, and another in the 100 free. Morisov with the silver, Bavel with the bronze, and the Americans shut out of the...